what we have here is the ISD 4000. At the moment it's sitting in air and it's updating at approximately 20 hertz. Uh, the depth reading is shown here along with the actual uh, pressure reading. Uh, heading pitch roll and temperature are all shown here and a little uh, graphic just to show how the unit is sitting at any one time is shown there. In the middle of the screen we have a graph which shows um, basically the, the depth over time and down the bottom we've got set up for the communications, uh, set up for the actual sensor itself. We can clear the graph to start again, we can turn logging on and off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn logging on just now, log a file and I'm also going to go in and tear the sensor. So if we click tear, it just zeroes the sensor. It takes into account the atmospheric pressure reading and uh, zeroed it there. So you can see the, the reading just now. It's, uh, there's your meters, centimeters, and down to millimeters here. This particular sensor is our workshop reference sensor, and it's um, got a 4,000 meter rating on it. So it's calibrated from zero to 400 bars, zero to 4,000 meters, and it uh, is calibrated to give 0.01% full-scale accuracy across that range. So if I take the unit and drop it into our just test tank of water here, and start to lower it down, so we can start to see the unit descending as I drop it down. Uh, it should be noted this test tank is approximately 92 centimeters deep, uh, so I'll just keep lowering it down. If at any point I hold it, you can see the the readings stay nice and stable. I keep lowering it down until it gets down to the, the bottom of the tank. There we go, down well in the tank. It's reading. All I'm going to do is just tie this off so it can sit there without any movement. Um, you'll be able to see the, the stability of the, the pressure reading. Now, if we bring the unit back up again, Back up to the surface, you see it on the, the graph, increases in uh, altitude, decreasing in depth, back up into the air, and do another drop down again. Maybe this time I tie it off halfway down, let's put a clamp on there, so it's sitting at about 49 centimetres depth, close to 50. You can see the level of uh, fluctuation. For a 4,000 meter calibrated sensor, this is an exceptional level of accuracy. I'll go ahead and lower it on all the way down to the bottom of the tank again. That's it down the bottom of the tank. It's again sitting at 92 centimeters, 93. So it's stabilized. You can see the, the stability of the, the reading. 